today's video, I have a very special, well, a very favorite video. This is going to be my October favorite. So if you guys want to see everything that I've been loving, please keep watching. Okay, you guys, so you know, these are our favorite videos. I'm so excited to bring to you guys my favorites this month because I feel like I don't have too many, but everything that I'm going to share today, I really, really loved. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is this top that I have on and I will show you guys what it looks like. This is a very festive, like different type of top that I received from the company Newly. And Newly is an amazing company and website where you get to rent six pieces of clothing every month for just $88. First of all, I'm going to be introducing this next month month but like you guys know right now the vlogs are like two weeks behind so I've been using my newly pieces for about a month but I am obsessed newly is a brand like I said that lets you rent pieces I received a $700 gown from newly okay so not only are you just renting like $20 shirts no everything in my basket I think came up to like $2,000 like retail and the great thing is if you decide you like your pieces you can actually buy them for a fraction of the retail cost so this is the red top that I received from them this past month <laughs> that you guys will see in a full video in a few days on my channel I am obsessed this is such a fun top that I probably wouldn't have picked on my own it's amazing quality it's like a chiffon type material really really nice quality the only problem with me is that I'm busty so the top is supposed to snap but like I have too much breast so it doesn't really work like that with me so I just put a safety pin on it and it fits fabulously but I am obsessed with this top so I did just want to mention newly this video is not sponsored by them but I'm obsessed and I wanted you guys to know because you're probably like mm, my girl never really wears tops like that and you would be correct I usually don't but this is really getting me outside of my comfort zone and I think this is perfect for influencer or bloggers because a lot of times people don't like wearing the same thing for videos I mean I don't mind because I will wear something into the ground I will wear it into the ground but it is nice to have pieces that you can try every month different pieces pieces that range in price and brand and I'm just super excited so definitely check out newly if you have not okay now let's start with some miscellaneous items I want to start with food which I never do but like these should probably get back in the refrigerator so the first thing I want to share is something that you guys know that I love and enjoy if you watch my weekly vlogs <sighs> bitch and sauce this is something that I found out about through my friend Kendra she was talking about it we were in Whole Foods and she said oh my goodness I think Scout the City or something always talks about bitchin sauce I want to try it then I looked at it and it's vegan now if you guys watch my weekly vlogs you know that she loves a nice cut of steak she loves a good chicken like I'm not vegan, vegetarian, I like cheese, I like ranch, like I am none of the above. So the fact that I enjoy this bitchin' sauce, you guys, I've shared it with my entire family. When I go get bitchin' sauce weekly, I have to buy like three containers of it because everybody is obsessed with it. This is a vegan dip. It reminds me of a mix between hummus and ranch. So if you like hummus and or ranch, you would like this. I usually eat it on tortilla chips. This would be amazing on a veggie sandwich which you can use this to dip veggies into it's so good you guys and another reason why I really like it is because it's almond it's almond based so it's an almond dip so because of that it fills me up so one container lasts me about two weeks because it's hard for me to eat a lot of it in one sitting even though I am obsessed with it this is like an all-purpose dip I am just like begging to have a dinner party so I can serve this to my guests even though that will not be happening but this is amazing I have tried the cilantro one I want to try the chipotle only one person out of everybody who I recommend it to which is basically everybody who watches my vlogs only one person has told me that they do not like it of course everything is going to be based off your own specific preferences but if you like vegan food and if you like ranch and hummus I 
think you will like that bitch and sauce like my mother was like we have to give it a nickname i was like no mommy we're calling it bitch and sauce it is bitchin it is it's amazing it's bitch and sauce okay okay my second food item is actually a coffee creamer and i want to give a shout out to my girl catrice marie she told me about this so last month i was on the hunt to find the perfect creamer i stopped doing um dairy creamers just because with covid going on i really am just trying to reduce the amount of mucus that i have i know it's a little gross but it is what it is so i started trying almond milk and oat milk and i'm obsessed but this is my favorite creamer this is the silk oat yeah froth like a boss rick ross love love this now it does have four grams of sugar per one tablespoon so it's definitely not keto I mean, this year I haven't really been on keto-ish at all because life is crazy enough with everything going on in the world. Like the fact that I haven't really gained weight this year is like the biggest blessing ever. So if I have to have four to eight grams of sugar in my coffee, so be it. This tastes so good. There are other brands that I like, but nothing is better than this. So definitely shout out to my girl Patrice Marie on Instagram. I just adore her. She thank you girl you know my love for you okay next I want to share a product that like social media definitely made me do this and I don't think anyone in particular but I just think like when you're on social media this is something that you see people using a lot and this is the everything seasoning for bagels and more and I purchased this at world market I believe I was with my friend Kendra at world market a few weeks ago and that was actually my first time ever going to world market I'd always heard about it but I'm not someone who's in to home decor I'm not someone who's into like TJ Maxx Marshalls Ross home goods I'm just not into it I like visiting those stores but I'm not like someone who's gonna go there weekly but I always see people online talking about this so this is basically a mix of garlic onion it does have salt sesame seeds and poppy seeds I've been putting this on my bagels in the morning I have too many bagels in the morning now clearly once again I'm not supposed to be eating carbs but you you know, give yourself grace this year. And I know there are people who are going to be like, oh my God, Kika Beauty's gotten so fat. No, sis, she is still a snatched size 16. I'm just not losing weight. But this year, I am not depriving myself of things that I want because this year has been hard enough. So yes. Keiko Beauty has been eating this on her bagels in the morning which I just started doing for like the past week and it is so so good with a little bit of cream cheese oh it's so good it says that this is also great on like avocado toast egg dishes salads fish grilled veggies everything like that so I definitely do want to try it on those but I have been obsessed and in the same realm of food items, I want to share my new favorite mug. I have a few new favorite mugs, but this is probably my, it's my newest, most special mug. And this is my glass mug from my girl, Kendra. She had a birthday party this past month and part of her invitations included custom glass mugs for everyone invited. And mine says, Meredith, if you guys watch the weekly vlogs, once again, I hope you are. Uh, Meredith is like one of my alter egos. And I know some people are gonna be like, oh my gosh, she has multiple identity disorder. No, I don't. Like I'm a psychologist. I would know if I did. I don't, but I have some alter egos and Meredith is my she's my stay-at-home wife she might even be a trophy wife but she's my fabulous alter ego she drinks coffee she has Hermes teacups she goes to brunch and she goes to high tea at the St. Regis with her girlfriends and she is just everything that's Meredith so my mug says Meredith and this just meant so much to me I've been using this mug and I just love it now my friend got these off Etsy so definitely if you want something like this just check Etsy they have tons of glass uh, custom mugs but this is just so special to me because I don't have a coffee cup with my name on it and although this is not my name it is one of my alter ego's name so same thing. <laughs> Okay, now let's get into fragrance. I have two fragrances to share with you guys today. The first one is an Old Faithful, and I definitely go through seasons with my fragrance where I want to smell like something new and where I want to smell like something old. This past month has kind of been like fragrance month on my channel. I've probably... 
amassed about 10 new fragrances. I'm not proud of that, but I'm also not really mad at it because you guys know I'm turning into a bit of a fragrance head. Fragrance has been one thing that I've been able to indulge in this quarantine year one that has been so... It just makes me happy. It makes me excited. I've delighted in it and it's definitely something that brings me joy. So the fragrance that I used a lot this past month is Maison Francis Kirkjean Gentle Fluidity Gold. Now for me, Gentle Fluidity Gold smells like feminine cotton candy. It's beautiful. It's a light scent. I would even say this is an everyday scent, but for me, it's so beautiful and so special that I actually wore it on my friend's birthday a few weeks ago. Well, like a week ago. And it's like a special occasion type of everyday scent. It's just so feminine and beautiful. This is the epitome of a classic feminine woman. It almost smells like vanilla and cotton candy without leaning juvenile. This is such a beautiful scent. It is definitely one of my favorites and I've used it a ton this past month. The next scent that I indulged in a lot this past month is Ragba by Latafa. Now this is a scent that, who recommended it to me? My girl Lorraine. My girl Lorraine. You guys, hashtag down below, please Lorraine. Like Lorraine is one of my fragrance head girlfriends that I, well I call her my girlfriend, like we met on Instagram and I just adore her. She's such just like a genuinely beautiful inside and out just amazing friend of mine and she told me about this scent and you guys know whenever Lorraine recommends something to me I go out and get it. Number one because she knows her stuff and secondly because she does not recommend MFK. She recommends things that are fairly well priced and I also appreciate that because I'm going to be more likely to try something on a blind buy that is under $30 versus like $2.25. So when she recommended this product to me, it was $28. It came with this 3.4 ounce bottle and also like a spray. And now I think the product is $40. So it has gone up. Once again, just like Shaga Food, it's like as soon as anybody mentions it on YouTube, the price just goes through the roof, you know. I guess I understand, even though I really don't. But that's neither here nor there. Ragba is amazing. I'm gonna put the scent notes across the screen. This smells like cognac and vanilla and oud. This is beautiful. It smells like cognac on the rocks. It's a warm, inviting vanilla type of scent. When I received this in the mail, I wore it that day and every single person that I came into contact with Sorry, my UPS man is here. Chloe's going crazy. It's okay, baby. She does not like people coming to the house. It's okay, mama. So everyone I came into contact with was like, ooh, what are you wearing? Like they all did a double take. Ooh, girl, what are you wearing? <sighs> this is very unisex. I could smell this on a man. Ooh, just gently rolling down some lovely chocolate muscles. Yes, this scent is everything. It's definitely androgynous. It's sweet without smelling feminine. It's deep, it's heavy. This is fall. This is fall with a glass of cognac on the rocks draped in a Barefoot Dreams cardigan or blanket. It's everything. This is an amazing scent. It lasts all day which I also appreciate and it's affordable so definitely check this out if dark oody like cognac vanilla scents are your vibe because I've been loving that. Okay let's move on to skincare. The first scent that well not scent the first thing I want to share with you guys is my new belief aqua bomb moisturizer. I purchased this maybe a few weeks ago and I've been using it ever since. This is my holy grail moisturizer for the winter time. So if you guys watch my channel regularly you know that I have extremely oily skin and in the fall and winter my skin becomes normal slash like dry and dehydrated in certain areas. So this belief aqua bomb gives me the best combination of hydration without making me oily. I, I just, 
I love this. I repurchase it every year. If you guys have been watching me for years, you know that this is my holy grail fall and winter moisturizer and I will not ever be without it. Shout out to my girl Stephanie on Instagram. She works at Sephora and Sephora had a friends and family sale like maybe two weeks ago and I was able to pick this up. Hooked. I love it. It's perfection. The next item I want to share is a peel and shout out to my girl Natalie. She always keeps me hip to the products that I need to be trying as far as skincare. You guys know a few years ago when I stopped hoarding makeup and skincare uh, and now I'm hoarding fragrance. But anywho, uh, I don't know what's out now. I don't peruse Sephora's new section unless there is a Sephora sale coming up. So this was an item that I purchased back in June, I believe, for my birthday and I am hooked. This is the Ordinary's AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution. Now, I am obsessed with this peel. Basically what you do is you wash your face, you apply this to your skin and leave it on for 10 minutes. Wash your face, of course, just, you know, rinse it off and your skin will feel textureless. Yes, you heard that correctly, textureless. So I have acneic skin, I have oily skin and right now in Atlanta, it is still kind of mildly warm. So my skin is very textured just now. Naturally. Some people in my family have just naturally smooth skin. I don't understand, but like that's not my life. But this makes my skin so smooth. And the best thing about this product is it is under $10. I have done a full review of this on my channel. I will link it down below. If you have any texture or large pore problems, this is going to get you right. Now it is a red solution, so it will look red on your skin, but not to worry, it's not going to stain your skin. I should also note that this is a highly potent product, so you kind of want to start, I would use it like every other week and work your way up to maybe every week because it is, it's very, very strong and you don't want to leave it on for more than 10 minutes, like at all. Okay, um, my last skincare product, yeah, the last one, is this Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Now, this is nothing new. This is a product that I purchased for my mother, this current one. Actually, no, I purchased this for her more than last Christmas, like longer ago. When I went to my mother's house, maybe recently, I stole it from her, yes. I stole it from her. Well, actually I asked and she told me I could have it because she wasn't using it. So I gave her a gift set with the sleeping mask for your face and the lip sleeping mask. And she loves the sleeping mask for your face, but she was not using this. And I said, well, I'm gonna take it because I've never tried it and this is amazing. So I've heard from everybody in my life. So I took it. You guys, this is the truth. I used to use a dupe of this product that I got from eBay. It used to be $9.99 and now it's like 10 to $13. This is everything. It definitely hydrates your lips. It's a mask for your lips that leaves them feeling so smooth. I don't know what's been going on with my lips this month, but they have been super duper dry and this is just helping to heal them really nicely. This is a great item and I cannot live without it. Okay, let's move on to makeup. I have two makeup products. Wow, you guys can tell that I've definitely been in a true quarantine because I have only two makeup products to show. So the first is the lipstick that I'm wearing right now and this is the Charlotte Tilbury Lipstick in Pillow Talk. Now you guys, I have this lipstick on today. I've worn this nine times out of 10 this month when I have worn lipstick. This is everything. Now, now today I kind of messed up my combo because I usually wear it with the NYX lip liner in Nutmeg which is like just a regular brown but I was going into my lip liner container and I accidentally grabbed one called Natural so I had a lighter lip liner on then I put this on and then I tried to put the darker lip liner on so this is not my perfect combo but it looks pretty similar. This is the it's my favorite nude for the fall and winter because it's a mauve type of nude and with a brown lip liner, it looks so good on my complexion. I just love it. It's a creamy nude. It's, it's like matte, but creamy. It's not drying at all. This is my favorite. I, I can't live without this. I love it that much. Okay, now let's get into miscellaneous items. The first thing I want to talk about is a pair of sunglasses. Shout out to my girl Stephanie. She actually gifted me with these. Once again, if you guys watch my weekly vlogs, you would have seen it. Um, it was the sweetest thing. Like, the fact that those of you guys who watch my channel don't know me personally, but think enough of me to 
be a blessing to me is just amazing. Whether it's sending me emails of encouragement and positivity or DMing with me or leaving comments in the comment section or physically sending me things, just know that I truly appreciate it because none of you have to do anything. You supporting my channel is enough. So she reached out to me maybe a month or two ago and told me that she purchased two of these sunglasses from Key Australia and she was sending me a pair and I was overwhelmed. I didn't go see what they looked like because I wanted to be surprised and when she sent these to me and I opened them I was floored let me just put them on you guys I'm not sure if I've shared them in a favorites video but if I have we're just gonna look at them again because they're fabulous I mean I mean like <laughs> this is Meredith okay this is a young Meredith this is fabulous fashionable these are just everything. I am obsessed. So nine times out of 10 now when I wear sunglasses, this is what I wear. I just want to thank you again, Stephanie, because that meant the world to me. You really don't know how much that made my day. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm so grateful. Like, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Another item I've really been loving is this silk sleep cap from My K Silk. This is what it looks like. Once again, if you're watching the weekly vlogs, you know I love it. I did a My K Silk giveaway maybe last month and I gifted a sleeping cap and scrunchies to someone. This is just, I love it because you guys know taking care of my hair is really important to me, especially because right now I'm still trying to rehab my hair. I'm getting ready to cut it next week and having a silk sleep sleeping cap or a satin sleeping cap is a must and I love the print of this because usually I'm wearing something drab so I do work with my case silk I was gifted this product but I truly love it I will leave a coupon code on the screen this is just a favorite okay and the last miscellaneous item I have before I share fashion is a book and you guys know that I am a member of the Lamely so it's only fitting that I purchased the meaning of Mariah so this is Mariah Carey's book that came out September 29th I believe now I am going to be honest I am not finished reading it because October was such a busy month that I have not had time to dedicate fully to this book like I would have wanted to but everything that I've read so far has been amazing this is Mariah Carey's memoir and I am obsessed with it one because I just love Mariah Carey overall but two it's been nice learning a little more about Mariah Mariah and why she is the way she is. Um, I guess I can speak to this a little bit. Being in the spotlight, even though my spotlight here on YouTube and social media is a lot less than that of the icon, but being in the spotlight, people sometimes just get the wrong impression of you, whether they are just fixated on a certain aspect of your life and they like to be keyboard thugs and they judge you, they judge you inaccurately without knowing your full story and for Mariah Carey to come out and tell her story full of truths that no one can take away from her like that's just beautiful to me and I really give it to Mariah Carey I know it had to take a lot to be able to share her very unique and touching story that I think a lot of us can resonate with so I just I love this memoir for that because you really get to know more about who Mariah Carey really is beyond all the glitz and glamour and butterflies and champagne um she's a real just human and I think oftentimes we can forget that people in the spotlight are just human like everyone else so if you are into Mariah Carey or a good memoir that is just truly eye-opening definitely check out this book I will link it down below Okay, now let's get into some fashion-y type of things. The first item I want to talk about is my apron. And this apron says, my life is a vibe, honey, because I would like to believe that she is. This is from my girl, Lexi. She runs Beauty Fash Blog. She started selling aprons a few months ago. So I got one for myself and I have been obsessed with it. I use this apron more often than not every time I cook, except if I'm cooking with something very dark because I don't want to have to wash this every time I cook. But this just is so nostalgic because when my mother was cooking for me when I was young she would wear an apron she really delights in the art of cooking so this is just nostalgic for me and it makes me feel like I am just on my grown woman ish and yeah taking care of my home so I've been obsessed with that 
The second item I want to show you guys is a sweatshirt that I've been wearing all month. Also, you guys might be sick of seeing it, but let me tell you, baby, just buckle up and get ready because this is my favorite sweatshirt. This is from my big sis, Severe. Uh, she came out with this sweatshirt last year, and it has been a favorite ever since. It's so soft and comfortable. This is my Erin Babe sweatshirt. Uh, she actually gave me a discount code for those of you guys who are my followers who would like to try out this sweatshirt. She also has other versions of sweatshirts. She has an Erin Babe mug, which I need to go buy. And shout out to her for providing that discount code for you guys because I didn't ask her to do it. She just so graciously did so. And this Erin Babe sweatshirt is my favorite. I purchased it in a size extra large. So if you are like a plus size 14, 16, maybe even 18, this will fit you. It's so soft and comfortable. And you guys know, I am not a sweatshirt hoodie type of girl. I really like zip up hoodies, but something about that sweatshirt is just fabulous. I wear it every week probably multiple times a week. I don't care. It's just so soft and fabulous and I love it. Okay guys, the last thing I want to share with you, first of all, let me just situate her and get her together. I know you guys have seen this item in a few videos and definitely all over my Instagram because that is just how much I am upset with it first of all if you're not following me on instagram i will leave it across the screen because i wish that you will i share a lot of things on instagram you kind of get more of an in-depth look at my life like my everyday life which is not glamorous it is totally regular but you would have seen this bag so much this past month teddy blake gifted me with this bag and they also gifted me with another bag to do a giveaway with and that was so gracious so once again shout out to teddy blake I'm obsessed. So this is the Teddy Blake Ava bag. I think this is the nine inch and this is in the cognac colored croc embossed leather. Like how fabulous is this bag? I will insert a picture of myself wearing this bag so you can see the proportion uh, against myself. Once again, right now I am a size plus size 16. I am obsessed. So first of all, when I contacted Teddy Blake to do another sponsored video with them, uh, I really wasn't sure what bag I wanted. I went to the website and I saw this style. I didn't even realize at the time that this is reminiscent of the uh, Hermes Kelly bag, which I am, of course, a fan of. Then I also realized I don't have a brown bag. The only brown bags I have are Louis Vuitton because you guys know that's my favorite luxury designer. But I also am not afraid to shop different luxury brands. And what I really like about Teddy Blake is that this is fine Italian leather. Like, I wish you guys could smell this bag. It smells like a new pair of leather boots. This bag is so well made. It's so beautiful. It's so classy and ladylike. I mean, since receiving it in the mail, I have not stopped wearing it. I take it to the grocery store to run my errands with my Erin Babe sweatshirt. Mm -hmm. I wore this to my friend's birthday brunch. I wear it everywhere like I am just obsessed so they have this bag in an array of colors they also have the smooth leather version I think I might also get another color of this bag because I'm obsessed it features a zip pocket at the back it has an oh. <laughs> whoa it has an adjustable shoulder strap and you open the bag like so now casually day to day I pretty much carry it like this I'm just obsessed, you guys. This is what the inside looks like. It has suede lining. It's just beautiful. Now this bag can get heavy because it's a full leather bag. So this is not just like, you know, leather on the outside. It is a full leather bag. So it's made of really, really nice quality materials and it does get heavy. Now they were so gracious to supply me with a $20 off coupon code. So I will put that graphic across the screen if you guys would like to try out Teddy Blake. This is the second bag that I now have in my collection that is from Teddy Blake. So this is like an all occasion bag. So I have three other things I want to share with you guys, okay? I always get ahead of myself. The first is a podcast. I stumbled upon this amazing black woman's page earlier this month in October. Her name is Mia J and she has a podcast called Mia J's Toolbox. She speaks on different issues that relate to women and something about her is just so like genuine and you can really tell that she's just a real woman. She's so powerful positive and motivating. I just like 
I just resonated with her so much. She's young, but she is just about her business. She also has a business called Mommy O where she sells t-shirts and sweatshirts. She had a mug on the website and it disappeared. I'm not gonna ask her about it because I don't wanna be annoying, but um, there are some items I would love to pick out, but I've really been enjoying her uh, podcast called Mia J's Toolbox. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. I'm not too big into podcasts, but when I do find them, I do like listening. And like I said, something about her is just so genuine and positive and motivating. And I'm really all about positive motivating women in my space right now. So definitely shout out to Mia J. Also, two Netflix shows that I have been obsessed with. One is You're My One on One. Can nobody take the spot? You're my one on one. I have been obsessed with one on one. So that came to Netflix uh, maybe a few weeks ago and I have not stopped watching it since. I watch it every night. I watch it throughout the day if I don't have any tasks that require my full attention. I forgot how much I used to love one on one. So I've really been enjoying that. I'm on season four right now. It started off kind of weird, but I hope it gets a little better. And then the next show that I've been loving on Netflix is my girlfriend, my girlfriends, they're through thick and thin. I am obsessed with girlfriends also. Now, girlfriends is one of those shows that came on when I was a child. Well, I don't remember how old I was, but I wasn't old enough to watch it, so I didn't. So now that I am old enough to watch it, it's just so interesting. It's like your regular group of friends. Literally everyone in that group, there's someone in my circle like that, different friends groups as well. I really enjoy it. It's just about a group of 29 to 30 something ish women just everything that happens in their lives with dating um marriage friendships work everything it's just a good show i've really been enjoying that and i'm glad that i can finally watch it and understand the topics and resonate with them as well so those are all the things i had to share with you guys this month I hope you enjoyed this favorites video. I know it's very long, but you guys know that I love chatting with you guys. Let me know what were some of your favorites this month down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!